Hey guys, welcome back to Building Feed. Let's get this started. Back for a, uh, another haul in this segment, we got uh, two this top ones from um, Republic Bricks on YouTube and mainly Instagram. Uh, if, you, if you know who he is, he's, he's pretty popular. He sells uh, lots of minifigure sets, parts uh, on his Instagram. And I'd go check it out. And he has some pretty cool unboxings uh, on his channel. So we got this and then just another uh, Bricklink order. So this is how it came in the mail, just like a rubber band. So we'll We'll do this one because there's just parts in here, so we'll go ahead and open this up. It's kind of cool, it's sealed. Um, let's kind of see what we got. Some these um, tiles, circle pieces, and these kind of angle pieces. And we got um, these little caps right here. And then these um other these um kind of cones and then I think some uh, some jumper plates I think that's it for that bag last bag just got uh, some uh, two by two tiles with stud in the middle uh, some one by one plates black blue gray and these uh, pearl gold studs. from Battlefront 2 so I do need a Darth Maul all right guys so I'm just here building I've been building for the past couple hours been on a, uh, a discord call with a couple guys and let's basically give you all an update so as you see the sidewalks are complete just besides this uh, staircase that still needs to be added and I'll uh, of course finish that up but besides that <laughs> I think it's looking pretty cool uh, it is a little, it is r r pretty bland back here besides that tree, tree which I'll probably redesign. And then uh, a little flower area which I'll probably redesign as well. Uh, it's all, you know, redesigning this. But let's kind of go into this. So, uh, under there you see there's a big gap. I used a uh, 16 by 16 plate, dark blue, or dark tan. And then I put it up on stilts or uh, plates and bricks and all that just uh, to s save on using you know bricks and stuff because I was having a scram I, I actually used a lot of um, light blue gray bricks and stuff and some dark blue gray bricks and over here in here this bin was full of light blue gray one by bricks and it's it just has a you know a little bit left in there and I uh, I still have to fill in all of this, and then I'll do a, like a trench there, and maybe like another trench there. So I'll have like three, three or four trenches, and I still need to re do this trench. Um, just like some other stuff, and I have like these control panel tiles, tiles just laying around everywhere. And um, but I did try to do a little bit of little details on the side, uh, like that. And right here, this is uh, just laid out the the bottom of the staircase which is a uh, pretty cool uh you know parts um i was using some smaller tan plates because i ordered 200 of these but i wanted some smaller ones to go around here around here kind of like what i've done knocking over darth maul but uh along here and all that which is pretty cool um I did uh, count up all my drawers, and I do have 25, which well, I think like around 25, which isn't uh, a lot. But then again, this isn't a very big uh, feed mock. You know, if I made one that was a full table or two or three tables, I need a couple hundred droids. And uh, it, this about matches the amount of clones I have. I have about 20 uh, of these Phase One clones. And I'll be uh, replacing the helmets with uh, the uh, Clonami Custom helmets, which I'll, which I'll get there. I'm wanting to add 
you know, uh, details and all that along the sides. What I've done is, for the sidewalks, I've, I'm going to be using these pearl gold cone pieces right the, here, and I'll uh, be putting, most likely putting tiles on top of it. Um, so, like, this one by eight or whatever, I'll get some of those, and I'll probably have to get them at Brick Fair because I'll have to uh, order them to be delivered through the Brick Fair thing, which I've already actually uh, done two batches of an order that will be delivered, so I think I got like 80 tiles, but m most of them are like one like one by twos to go through here, that's why there's so many gaps, uh, so it's going to look a lot more cleaner, almost like this, but like spread out, and that's uh, this flower thing, um, I'm going to redo do it, I'm going to add some more uh, brighter green and I'll add more flowers and I'll probably do like a tree, I'm, I'll, I do want to, I, th I think I want to do less, uh, I want to do like, like a smaller tree, maybe a little bit taller and uh, I'll probably, uh, honestly, uh, I'll, be, I'll be building a little bit more at Brick Fair, but that's just the small stuff and uh, you know, just like like I said, you know, small things I'll have to add at the convention, but that is kind of how it goes. I know other builders that do that, and on this side, it's going to be more open, like with flowers and a little bit more like that side over here will be a little bit more of buildings, uh, and that's how it's kind of kind of kind of look at the convention. It'll be pretty cool. Uh, so a lot of space, and of course, y'all can see that in the brick fair vlogs as it gets closer and I'll, I'll do a pre brick fair video and um, probably before you see this a um, some sort of uh, video talking about talking about the um, to my channel for the I got another order uh, this uh, is from Blaine's World um, or uh, basically um, Anthony from Brick Productions his brother they have a Brickling store uh, it's one of the uh, like, it's the largest in Alabama, and I was supposed to have this delivered to me at a uh, brick fair in two weeks, but they had a, a lug meeting, so he was like, "Hey, you just want me to bring it there?" So let's go ahead and uh, this open. So he did give me a discount, so let's kind of open up and see what parts we got. So as you uh, see, this a little card. You can just check out Blaine's World. Pretty cool parts. Uh, like I said I got a discount. Um, so first off, I got um, one by four tiles. Got one by three tiles. Uh, more one by four tiles because I made two batches. Two batches of an order. Uh, tree pieces. Uh, you know, tan plates. Um, these. No, I'm dropping them, but you know, you can kind of see what I got. I got some of these kind of quarter cone pieces. These and the little Technic pins, so I can connect the base plates and just you can kind of see some of the stuff. Trash cans, so I can put around there, and then just got some last detail stuff in this this uh, hair piece for my sig fig. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, guys, so I do want to talk about. Uh, the rest of this mock as uh, Brick Fair approaches. As of filming this, it's Thursday, Thursday the 25th, and literally in, in one week, I will be at Brick Fair setting up this mock with a bunch of other guys at uh, 13 tables that we're going to have, and I'll go into more depth about Brick Fair in the Brick Fair pre video, which will be on uh, probably Tuesday or Wednesday. But I do want to talk about what I'll do with this mock and what I have to build while, while I'm at the convention. So I will be ordering some more tiles to be delivered like I, uh, like you saw in the hall where I uh, was supposed to be delivered to Brick Fair but I picked it up at a lug meeting. Well I'll just order some more to be delivered right here. Uh, that's one thing uh, and then I'll fill in probably some some little light. It's a lot of 1x2 spots so I'll, I'll uh, get you know some 1x2 tiles to go in there. And then the kind of the big thing that I'll have to build on there is well you see the sides they're kind of they're kind of empty and I know I built like this and I'll probably you know tear this down I'll tear this down I tried to you know it's all trial and error so um, you know I'll just uh, I'll have to build a bunch of side details and all that I'll probably show in my uh, 
Brick Fair vlogs, and I do uh, have parts left over, you know, that I can use, and I've like some of these, and um, where is it over here? You know, I have I have uh, actually a good amount of parts in here that I'll I'll be bringing for this, and then I have some parts in these these bags and just these and you know but you know stuff that I got in uh some halls and stuff and so I will be building on at Brick Fair um uh, and I think that that will be really cool um I'll probably uh you know get some feedback from other builders and stuff while I'm building possibly them can you know help a little bit and you'll you'll see that course in the vlogs all right so uh I'm going to be answering some of the questions for the Q&A. First question from Initial Bricks. What is your favorite set of 2017? And that, that has to be, I'd say, the UCS Millennium Falcon. Just overall cool set and just very large. Um, next question, which is actually from Ethan Network. We've got a couple. Who's your favorite LEGO YouTuber? That's probably Chris Productions and like HD Brick for Mox. And then MNR Productions and like Life Bricks. They do some pretty cool videos as well. What is your favorite YouTuber in general? That's probably like Casey Neistat or something. Um, what was my first Lego set? That is um, Anakin's uh, Starfighter. Uh, really cool set. I actually do want to purchase one. So yeah. It's just so I can have. And then my top three mocks 2017. Uh, in no order, um, HG Bricks, like the, his 501st March. Uh, like the, on the temple and all, whatever. Uh, David Hall's Scarif was pretty cool, and Martin Harris, he's a builder, uh, he displayed around us at Brick Fair, he did his uh, Death Star um, trench run, that was a really cool mock. Um, next question from Mr. Guangdong, when are you fitting to announce the merch? Really any time, basically, probably, you know, I, I made stickers and stuff, so it's kind of already come out. Uh, then uh, last question from Brick Builder Studios: Why did you start YouTube? Just to make videos, you know. You know, uh, you know. I've I saw you know plenty of YouTubers. And I wanted to make videos, and I started back in 2011, and here I am, 2018, and I think I've gotten a lot better, you know, mock wise and just video making wise, from you know filming on an iPhone 3 to having a camera and using an editing software. So I think I've uh, improved a lot. And that's going to be it for this uh, Q&A, so thank you, and we'll probably have another one of these uh, in a couple months, uh, so yeah. That is basically the end of this episode and the series, so I would like to thank all y'all for watching the these videos, um, especially if you started watching from the beginning, and that's basically it, guys. Go follow me on Instagram at BrickLogic. Uh, leave a comment on this video, tell me what you think about uh, this whole uh, update in the series.